Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek. And in this video, we are gonna have too much fun on two wheels with two motors. Let's go. Thanks for watching Electrek. Give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on any videos. This is the perfect scene for two motors on one e-bike. Nice fresh powder and full throttle driving on two wheels. The loose terrain and slippery conditions are met with a heavy bike, wide traction, and two motors pulling a lot of torque. Meet the Unero Fat All-Wheel Drive. Oddly enough, equipped as a commuter, this machine carries a 350 watt rear hub motor and a 250 watt front hub motor. Both of these are controlled with a single selector switch and, of course, the throttle. For testing purposes, I tried the bike either in the front, rear, or dual motor capacities, and in the snow, I think it felt best with a dual motor. When I was on the wet pavement, it actually felt fine with a rear motor. I really couldn't tell much of a difference between two or one. But when going off into the loose snow, the dual motor really shined. Sliding around was a lot of fun. I had a blast just riding around in circles testing the limits of my balance. Somewhere between dirt biking and cycling, that's kind of how I felt like this activity was. I've tried some other dual motor bikes in the past using only pedal assist, but you really got to open up the full throttle to fully understand what it's capable of. Now this simple feature helped me to test new bounds and learn some new skills and of course having a lot of fun. A little bit too much fun. Now this bike is pretty heavy. It's 62 pounds and that weight comes in handy for getting some extra traction but that weight is added on by some kind of interesting accessories. I suppose you could use the bike for commuting as it comes equipped standard with lights, a rear rack, front and rear fenders. I actually left the front fender off. I just wanted to get out as soon as possible but Using both motors on the road, I really didn't feel like that highlighted the benefit of the dual motor system. And if it were actively snowing in a storm, I'd probably be singing a different tune. I think the fat all-wheel drive is much better suited as an adventure bike, especially with the throttle. Rocking a Shimano Altus and a Cadence Space pedal assist is great for me, but I really just use these on the road to reach my off-road destination. I've had a lot of fun riding the old trail in a totally new season and new terrain. The dual motors and extra guts really made it a lot of fun to ride, and I also rode it pretty fast. Of course, riding fast, heavy, and on two motors really eats the battery alive. But for around 7 to 10 miles in these conditions, it's not so bad for the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery. Now for heavy, snowy, fun, and short commutes, this is a great bike for that purpose. If you want it just for kicks, that's A-OK -okay too. More power to you. For $1,699, the fat all-wheel drive, that's not so bad. And as a company, Unero has been known to do holiday sales every now and again. So if you're diligent and patient, you could climb in for a bit less. You won't be getting a technical marvel or an award-winning aesthetic design, but it's just fun, plain old fun, and that's what an e-bike does best. I've had a lot of fun ripping around on the snow with this all-wheel drive electric bike. What would you guys do if you had one of these? Let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Electrek for exciting EV news, and I will see you guys on the later.